I'm making this with some reluctance. Essentially, a YouTuber called Vara Dark Dark Titan Enterprise, who doesn't matter, she's not a very good YouTuber. Now, her Dune content, from what I've seen, is okay, it's not very great, but this is really bottom of the barrel nonsense. Now, originally I was going to do something on Ryan Kennel and his stupidity, but apparently that's where he's getting it from. He's getting it from her, so we're going to get right to the source. So basically, she's accusing Warner Brothers of racism and removing layered kinds from Chinese posters. This isn't really true, or at the very least, this is very ambiguous, but we're going to let her speak and make a complete fool of herself and respond their movies. They even made the sequel trilogy's main character a female because anyone could be a lead character in their big blockbuster franchises. But they thought that people were dumb and wouldn't notice the fact that they changed the movie poster around so that people in the Chinese market would go and buy tickets to see their movies. And a very similar situation is now happening with Warner Brothers and Dune because the character they race and gender swapped specifically for inclusion and diversity has been completely removed from the movie poster in certain regions. Really quickly though, before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media. Like now I've studied China more seriously. I know a bit of Mandarin. I don't want to exaggerate. I'm still learning Mandarin and Chinese history is huge. It's massive, so it's a very big undertaking. And she is correct about one thing, and only one thing. There was a controversy, was, which was legitimate. It also was, just wasn't the Star Wars and Force Awakens. Essentially, they did diminish John Boyega on movie posters for TFA. They did this for Black Panther, too, so it's not just a Star Wars problem. So it's a bigger problem with Disney, and that's them. And... I'm not sticking up for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is a terrible company. It's very, very terrible. But I don't want to accuse it falsely because that's not going to do any good. And it's also apples and oranges because, again, Warner Brothers did not make Dune. Legendary made Dune. So now the question would be, is Legendary and Denis, by extension, being a bunch of hypocrites or racist for doing this? Well, are they doing this in the first place? Well, if we actually try to look up some Dune posters in Chinese, shocker, Liet Kynes does appear. Now, in some posters, she does not appear. But in other posters, she does appear. So, there isn't much of a controversy. Also, her knowledge on the situation is extremely weak. This isn't a new thing. Dune has been open to China before October 22nd. It actually opened in Hong Kong. So, technically, it was already available in China a few weeks before. She also gets a lot of things wrong. She says Liet Kynes was race swapped. I already did a video on this. I'll link it so you can go through that one. But long story short, he is not described as a white man in the novel. I want to repeat that. There is no description of his race. There is no race swap. There is a gender swap, but not a race swap. Doesn't get basic things about the movie right. She even says some things that are outright wrong. I'll do a further video on this because this is a, just a terrible video. She says Aaliyah doesn't show up. Aaliyah does show up briefly in this film. It's just... A very, very not believable video on Dune. She clearly is not a Dune expert. She clearly doesn't know Chinese history very much. She's basically building off the legitimate controversy of Star Wars and The Force Awakens and what they did there and stretching it to Liet Kynes. And then she says shockingly that, because she's getting this from Breitbart and saying, well, you don't have to agree with the politics of Breitbart. Breitbart is an extreme right wing outfit which peddles conspiracy theories on a regular basis. I've studied this for a long time. Now, you're right, we don't can't just appeal to the politics, but this is not a trustworthy news site. So, And they're getting a lot of factual things incorrect, too, within their own report. So this is just a garbage video. This is a nonsense controversy, but I will go through it more thoroughly. But do it yourself. Look up Dune, China, and Chinese poster. I literally put it in Mandarin. Lee Kine shows up. There seems to be no validity here because Zendaya shows up regularly, and Zendaya is black. So it's not making a whole lot of sense. Now, are they specifically not featuring or prominently showing Liet Kynes? Well, maybe, but Liet Kynes, is, Liet Kynes is difficult. She's not a super major character. She's sort of in between a minor and a major character in this film. At the very best, this is ambiguous. Maybe there's a controversy, maybe there's not. I'm sure in some regions, yes, probably the Chinese are not promoting her. That's true. But that's not legendary or Denis. Could they be doing more? Eh, maybe, but 
just going with this Warner Brothers is racist nonsense is just not helpful. Now, Warner Brothers has been caught doing a lot of racist things, but I don't honestly think this is one of them. It is what it is. This is clickbait. We should really be focusing on not positive do news. Of course, we should be critical, but this is just a ridiculous nonsense controversy. But it's getting traction because she has a lot of subs, and that's really all it is. But as far as I can see, she doesn't know Dune very well. She doesn't know Chinese history very well. She doesn't know film history very well. But I get it. You got to make money, so you're going to lie about it. So there we are. But as far as I can see, there's really nothing to this controversy. I'll follow it, but it doesn't seem like anything's there, really, at all. But it's unfortunate we have to waste time on this controversy for no reason. Thanks for listening.